This week's video is dedicated to frequently asked questions, questions that you guys ask virtually every single week. So I'm gonna do all of that in under five minutes and that's coming right up. first question is where is the best place to live and of course this is going to be very personal this is going to be up to the individual because we all have different needs and different tastes but the north and the west of the island are the two most popular places in terms of where expats and foreigners come to live. So up north that would be Grand Bay and Perry Bear and then if you wanted to come to the west that would be Flick on Flack, Black River, Tamara that region. The next question is what is the healthcare system like and I'm going to say this slightly cautiously. Uh, generally it's pretty good. We have two main hospitals here, Dane and Welkin. They are private hospitals and they offer the best healthcare here. We've also got a few sea care labs which have opened up and are dotted around the island and of course with that comes good GPs and a few good specialists and surgeons. But the reason why I say, I say this with caution is because if anything serious happens to you here, like if you have cancer, for example, you are going to need to have international healthcare cover and you're gonna need to go to a place like Reunion, South Africa, Australia, the States or Europe. How easy is it to find safe modern rentals with gardens? Okay, now of course the rental market, there's a very large amount of places to rent here. It all depends where you want to rent and also what is your budget. At the moment, there are a lot of modern apartments going up. A lot of them are being built and that means there's a lot of choice in that arena. If you're a larger family though and you're wanting maybe a villa, these are more difficult to find. In fact, we're under a bit of short supply at the moment because we have had a lot of people move to the island. So if you want to find out more about property, do check out the website l'expressproperty.com. And of course, prices will vary depending on where you live. There's also Property Cloud, check out that one too. Should I send my child to a public or a private school? Now in Mauritius, all public schools offer a superb level of education. They do the British curriculum and all kids speak English and French. But just realize that if you're a foreigner coming to live here, it is kind of expected of you to send your kids to a private school where you're gonna be paying school fees. So you are more than likely, if you're an expat, to send your kids to a private school, but there are a huge selection now of schools to choose from. Right, next question, are cars expensive? Me personally, I do think cars are expensive. Of course, they are a big ticket, they're a big item. You're gonna need to spend quite a lot of cash on cars. But um, you tell me, what do you think? Are cars expensive? Do check out access.mu. They have a whole selection of different cars and that's really gonna give you a good idea of what you can expect to pay. This is a pretty good question. It's, will I get by with English or do I need to learn French? Now, when you come here, you'll notice pretty much immediately that when you go into shops, people first speak to you in French. Now, having said that, most people do speak English, but I really do recommend that if you come and live here, do try and kind of speak a bit of French, speak a bit of Creole. It'll just help you so much more in the long run. You'll be able to interact better with people. People will also really appreciate that you are putting in that little bit of extra effort to integrate here. Next question, are people friendly? I would say on the whole, lots of people here are very kind, very generous, very friendly, and they do make you feel like you're at home. But of course, you're always gonna get the odd person here and there that maybe doesn't appreciate having you around or perhaps they're having a bad day. So yeah, it's kind of like anywhere you are in the world, you're gonna meet friendly people and you're gonna meet not so friendly people. But I'd say on the whole, yes, they are very friendly people here. Hopefully we're still within our five minute time limit that I've set myself. Last question, are there lots of bugs? So yes, there are bugs, there are a lot of bugs. You get cockroaches and ants, loads and loads of geckos and lizards. And also of course rodents like mice 
rats. But generally, Mauritius is a pretty safe place to live in terms of, you know, you're not going to get bitten by a spider. That's another one that we have here, lots of spiders. You're not going to get bitten by something like that and then have to uh, be airlifted somewhere. Uh, generally here it is very safe, it's not like living in Australia or South Africa where, where virtually every single animal will kill you. So there you have it, those are your frequently asked questions, stuff that I get asked virtually every single week. And of course if there's more that you want to know, do drop me an email or send me a, you know, send me a little comment down below, ask me stuff and I will gladly respond. Also if you find this content valuable, do buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. All these uh, little donations help to keep the channel afloat. Anyway, that's it from me and I will check you on the next one. See ya.